Hello, everyone. In this video, I'd like to talk about motion instructions. Even though we have been using that for uh, many labs, but uh, uh, this is the first time we look at the details of the each components. Right? Uh, motion instruction has uh, different parts. Right? The first part is start with a letter. So with this. Uh, component, you have three different options. Either J, uh, represent joint movement, L, linear, C, circular. All right, so uh, details, uh, we need, there are lots of details we need to talk about, but not uh, the focus of this video. All right, so we just need to know the first component is the motion type. The second component is the position information. So it can be two different choice, right? Either position, like right now you're seeing P with a number, right? Or you can have the other option is PR with number, right? That represent position rep, uh, register, right? So that's the second component. And the third component is the speed, how fast. It depend, uh, depend on the movement, the type, the motion, you can have the percentage or you can have different units to represent how fast you want robot to move to this position. All right. The last component we use very often is what we call termination type. So you, you can have two different type of the option. One is fine. When it's fine, you robot stop exactly what you teach position over there. But <clears throat> But if you choose CNT, represent continue. So that means you want to cut corner. So you don't, you don't uh, need necessarily let the robot to stop at the teach position when it's running in auto. Right? So we will have more detailed uh, example uh, on the lecture, or you can read from the menu. Right? For the purpose of this video, I need to quickly move on. We just need to know the different component on the motion instruction. The last part is the optional one. We don't use that very often. It's that uh, in a very special situation, is, uh, for example, welding or some uh, specific applications. Uh, if we have time, maybe we'll talk about later, but not now. So basically, we have four different components. We have a motion type. We have a position information. And we have a speed. Then we have how do we stop the movement termination type, right? So that's the component with the motion instruction. Then how do we enter that motion instruction into the program? So later on, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how do we write the program from the scratch. But I need to talk about a little bit before we start a demo, All right? So whenever you uh, we start the edit on the teach pendant, you have two different screens. So this is screen number one, this is screen number two. So these two screens can be switched by pressing the next button to back and forth, right? So one of the screen has the point and touch up. Touch up we already used that before, right? And the other screen has the INST represent instruction and edit command. So those are the two very simple, uh, screens you're going to work with right with edit command you have options you can see here edit command you can have insert delete copy uh, any other operations with the uh, editing right so it's called edit command it's just like the uh, computer file right so that's the edit command then uh, you have two options one is point point is all the motion instruction uh, entering from here. So that's where you uh, enter the motion instruction. We just talked about the previous slide. And any of the non-motion instruction, they'll be underneath this INST. INST represent instruction, All right? So again, so you have two different uh, window to enter your program. Normally, you will start with edit command to insert lines, something like that, right? Whenever you need insert motion instruction, like the one I just talked about the previous slide, it's related to this point, F1. And any other type of instruction, you need to get access from 
different screen uh, underneath the INST represent instructions. Right. So uh, after that, you have to learn uh, the common procedures uh, in order to correctly uh, enter the instruction into the uh, program. Right. For this part, I will just choose the uh, our lab five to as as a uh, as the uh, roadmap uh, for me to move on. All right. So I'll choose the half screen on here and half screen on here. So uh, I need to get my teach pendant on here, so I can use teach pendant to demonstrate the process. All right. Uh, let me just start with. Uh, create a new program. All right, so uh, maybe I can use the this bigger screen. So this is the I teach pendant. So it has a bigger uh, LED. So uh, it allow you to see that more clearly. All right, so we create a new program from the selection. When you press select, you see the list of the um, uh, existing program. If you want to create a new one, of course, create press this, all right? So uh, this is just a, a, a similar to what you saw on the, with the, uh, the uh, function keys, all right? So uh, you need to select the uh, di different ways to enter the program name, all right? So if you choose uppercase, you can uh, tap in, uh, I think it's, Oh, it's not, it's not connected to the keyboard with that. So you can choose this, uh, let's see, uh, P, P1, let's just uh, use a very uh, simple program name, P1, all right. So um, press enter to finish, all right. So then you can go into details. Uh, we don't have to set up those details uh, that related to other topics, or right? I can just directly go into edit. So once you're going to edit, yeah, like I said, right? So two different screens, you have the instruction and the command on one screen. So when you press next, you see point and touch up. So those are the two screens you can switch back and forth. And we will start with the edit command. So once you press edit command, you can insert, delete uh, any other options, right? So you can uh, insert first, it asks you how many lines, you just type in, for example, 10 different lines, then you will have those lines available for you. All right. So uh, if we want to use the uh, existing robot uh, position as the recording, uh, you can start to program the motion instruction. But before we do that, all right, so uh, I need to go through this, uh, let you to know the common procedures. So first, how do you define the default motion instruction? So what Fenox Robot did on the program is that uh, it they don't want you to make a mistake when you program the robot. So what they do is that they gave you some of the existing format that you to choose from. So if you press the po point, right? Remember that's the motion instruction, right? So you will see on top, you have four different options. Those are, they call the default motion, right? So you can see the first two, the J joint movement, last two, the L movement linear, followed by position, speed, and the termination, right? The four different components we just talked about. So you, you can choose uh, based on those uh, four existing format. Right? For example, if I press enter, so the, the first format will be choose. Then it's very easy for you to finish the first line, right? But there are some times, uh, for example, you, uh, uh, you, you have a different preference, right? For example, uh, the, let's look at the second one. It's J movement, a position 50%, continue 100. Like if you want to change, uh, if, if you prefer 75%, not 100, so you can choose that if that's, you can change that if that's gonna use very often. So how do you do that? So if you follow those procedures, read those menu, you will find out, all right? Uh, but I can demonstrate on here. So you either press the function key, edit default. When you press edit default, those four 
formats are available for you. So you can move your cursor to highlight different component. For example, you prefer 75, you just type in 75 and enter. Then when, when you finish, press done. And then you finish the editing format. So next time when you open the form point, you can see the 75 is being changed. Right. Also, because we just choose that, this one is being highlighted. It's called the current. Right. So if you um, choose this one, you don't even need to open this uh, anymore. Right. So let me show you on here, previous. So I believe that's what I'm just showing you here now. So I just finished over this part. This part, how do you modify that? Then how do you add the motion instruction to a program, right? So first way is that record it using the current default. I just show you on here. Uh, when you open it, one flum is being highlighted. Right now, it's the number two being highlighted. That's what we call current, right? So if you want to record the, uh, the position with the current uh, selected format, you don't even need to open this. Let me close this, right? So for example, uh, maybe we can um, jog the robot a little bit. All right, so uh, let me see here. Okay, so you can see on the background, robot move a little bit, right? The add symbol is gone. So now I can just use the shift point, press, oh no, sorry. I don't know why, how, what happened? It allow you to have an empty line, all right? So I just skip number two. If you press and hold shift and press point, right, you can see here, right? So that's the 75%, right? Because that's the current selected. So you don't even need to open it, right? You can just use shift point right? directly record as number two, right? Uh, but uh, for example, that uh, you may want to use different format, right? That'll be over here. If you want to record a position using one of the, the other three default, right? There are four of them. So if you don't like the, the current select default, for example, if I want to use the linear, choose number four, right? So that's how do you do that? You uh, uh, Maybe I need to move robot a little bit more, right? So. Uh, so you can see the add symbol gone, right? So now if I want to re record the current position as my line number four, I need to press the point and use my cursor to highlight the one I want. Then you press enter. So once you press enter, this format will be entered into your program. And in the same time, this one linear 100 will set up as the current uh, selections, all right, so enter is in there, linear current 100. And then if you move a robot a little bit more on, on different location, then if you do the current location, shift point, you can see here, P4, the out automatic and add on there. And then you can see that's the same format as the previous one, all right? So this is those basic procedures, right? So you can change the default and you can record the uh, the positions using uh, one of the four uh, formats as default, right? And to, to uh, move on, on here, uh, to add other instructions, uh, no, that's different part. Let me look at here. So this is, uh, how do you enter? Then 2.3, how do you modify, right? Uh, even though you have four different choice as a default, uh, maybe what you want is not one of the those four. And also maybe you only want to change one time. For that, you want to temporarily change the, uh, the instruction component. So what you can do is to use the cursor to highlight different part of your component instruction. For example, if you don't like 100 millimeter, maybe you want to change to the number you want, right? 50 millimeter, and then continue. Maybe you want to change to uh, maybe 68%, right? Just for say, all right, so enter. And then you can use your cursor back to here, you finish.
right? So you can do anything you want. For example, you can even change this. I don't like fine. I want to change different, like continue. So there's a function key with choice. So when you press choice, you can choose number two, right? Then you can even give a different number on the percentage, right? So this is how do you add uh, added program instruction on the uh, on the teach pendant, right? So uh, this is just a brief introduction, right? So I ask you to get on it. So there are lots of detailed information you need to practice and read from the menu, right? So for this video purpose, I'll just stop here.